Hi, my name is Noreen and welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is doing well with the isolation. Uh, would you believe I actually ran out of tea bags this week and we have put our shopping down to one day a week now. There's no run up and down to the shops. So tomorrow I'll have my tea bags. So in the meantime, I've reverted to my coffee. I think the best thing to do is keep yourself busy and occupied. And one of the things I wanted to show you how to make today is a very fun, simple, project to do and it is a little case to hold your sunglasses in and another little bag to hold your tissues in. So go and put the kettle on, come back and join me and we'll do some crafting. So we're going to look at our little tissue holders and we open them up, take our tissues out. You can see we have a lining and we have the outside. Okay. But the lining will overlap into the front. So think about your colours. I'm just going to use a plain one here for this lining. So this is my lining and my lining is eight and a half by six inches and my outside fabric is seven inches by six inches. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm putting them right sides together and I'm going to go over to my machine and I'm going to stitch all along here. And when I've done that, I will come back and I will join those two sides together and I will stitch all along here. So I will end up with that stitch together. Okay, so we're going to go up to my machine and I'm going to do a quarter inch seam allowance along here. Okay. And I'm going to turn it and I'm just literally going to take that edge and that edge together. We're still working on the six inch sides. Marry them up and do the same. I'm going to put a quarter inch seam allowance. Right, I'll go back to the table and give this a little press. So we've attached the two sides and what I want is the outside fabric facing you here and we're just going to press in that side and press in that side and I'm just going to give them a press with the iron. Bring the seams inwards in other words and this eventually this part is eventually going to be like your outside here. See this is where we've turned this in. Okay now back to the machine and what we're going to do is on one side, we're going to stitch from the left to the right all the way down. That's no problem. On this side, we're going to stitch from here to here and from here to here. We're going to leave an opening because we have to turn this in the right way. Remember, we've got the two sides facing here. OK, so we need to turn it back in. So we're going to stitch all along here. We're going to stitch from here to here. I'm going to leave a little opening. I'm just going to pin it there just to remind myself not to stitch across and from here to here. And again a little quarter inch seam. And when you when you're going from here to here, just at this point do a little back stitch. Start off, do a little back stitch and go off. And we'll come back to this. Okay, so now we need to turn this in the right way. In.
and make sure you get your points in the corners nice and straight out. Just always make sure you don't use something too sharp because it will go through and ruin your work. Just go a little bit more there. Okay, so we have our opening and I'm going to just turn it in and give it all a little press. Okay, and then I'm going to fold this in half. I have the lining facing me. I'm going to fold it in half just to give myself a crease in the material so I can see where the halfway mark is. And I'm going to bring this part to the line. There. And I'm going to do the same. This part here is going to reach my line. But this is going to flap over back there. So I can work it out that it's... Let's just bring it there. There. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is just you can pin it or use the clips. And I'm going to go to my machine and I'm going to do a stitch along there. And I do go back and forth a couple of times over this part just to give it support because when you're pulling the tissues in and out, you want that to have a bit of strength that's not going to wake. So we'll go back to the machine. Now we turn it in to the right way. And again, make sure your corners are at a nice point. Fix it up. Give it a little press. And there you have it, the tissue holder. Now, you can leave it like that. You don't have to do anything. I just put a little press stud on it and I'll show you what I do with that. I have the little pieces here. Okay, so in these you have what we call a male and a female, so one slots into the other and with them you have a little hexagon shape there and this one fits into it like that. So what I do is we get the machine, I'm kind of working out where my halfway mark is. We put one part on here. We use the machine. To push them together. Okay. And on this side, if I push down here, I can see that's the centre point. Put a little hole in there. And on the inside, what we're doing is we're putting this part inside the round flat bit. Putting the back on. Press. Some tissues. 
Let me put them in our little holder. There you go. We have our tissue holder for our handbag. And we're going to make the sunglasses case to match. So now we're going to make the matching sunglasses case. And I've just put a little press dot on. Sunglasses fit in. And they go into your handbag. And the same with this one. And this one I quilted. Literally just went across with the stitch before I assembled it. This one I just left plain. Um, and this one I'm going to leave plain, but it's a patterned material, so we'll just see the difference between them all, okay? So you need three pieces of material. You need your outside, you need your batting, you need your lining. So I'm going to put my outside on the top. My measurements are 19 inches by 5 inches. So 19 inches by 5 inches. So I've got my batting, just lay face up my lining. Now my lining is plain, so it makes no difference what side is down, but if it had a pattern on it that you want, that's the side then that faces down, so right sides facing. Okay, so I've got them all even. And what I'm going to go is to the machine, and I'm just going to stitch along here to join the three of them together. So I'll go to my machine and do that. And there we go. I've joined the three pieces together by a quarter inch seam at the bottom. And now I'm going to move towards the top. This is going to be the flat piece that comes down eventually. And you can have it whatever way you like. You can see I've done a bit more of a curve on this one and a bit straighter on this one. So um, all you have to do there is get a template. And I'll show you how I made a template. Get a piece of material that would fit across. Just fold it in half. Draw whatever design you want, whatever curvature or whatever. So you could go like this. Cut that out. and you'll have the exact same on both sides. So whatever you want. So I have one here and I'm just going to pin it on. Okay. Use my clips instead. So I'm just going to use some clips here just to hold them in place. scissors and I'm just going to cut around the shape of my template. That just gives us a little curved top. Put your template away for another day. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my lining back and I'm going to get to my join where I've just stitched and I'm going to fold it back on itself. The right sides are basically folded back onto itself there. So I think it would work at about eight inches if we just measure it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, go maybe a little bit more. Okay, so I'm going to fold that there. Make sure that's nice and neat. And I'm going to bring the bottom up. Okay. 
and I'm going to pin that into place. So what I will do is I will be stitching these together and I need to leave an opening so that I can turn it inside out. So I'm going to leave an opening up here. So I'm going to put my pins here to remind me not to stitch in this gap. Okay. So we will go to the machine and we are going to stitch from here, do a little back stitch, all the way down about a quarter inch seam right to the bottom. We're going to leave this part open, we're not going to stitch across here at all. And then I'm going to start here, I'm going to do a little back stitch and I'm going to work my way all the way around, up around my little shape at the top and stop back here at this pin and do a back stitch. So we will go to our machine and do that. threads. So I stitched from here straight down. I stitched from here all the way around the top and I stopped here and I left an opening. I have not stitched here. Okay now I want to just take a little bit off the corners so that when we do turn them in they're a little bit easier to get a point on. And also, because I'm going around with a circle, I want to just take off a little bit at an angle. So all I'm doing is just doing little snips so that when it turns, don't go into the stitching. I'm just needing that up a little bit. And now, the fun bit, we turn it in the right way. And this is a lot easier said than done. Always try and get down to the corner and get that piece in first. And it's inside out again, so we need to just push it back in the correct way. Again, get your corners nice and pointed.
Okay. And I'm going to give that a little press. Now we do have still the opening there where we had to turn it in the right way. I'm going to just give it a little press to lean it up a little bit. side there just to get that top shaped properly. Okay. With the opening if you just slightly pull and push in the edges they'll slip in nice and neat for you. Press. And I'm going to go to back to the machine and I'm going to do a top sh stitch all the way around here and stop there. And that will close in that as well. So I'll go and do that and I will come back to you. Okay, so when before I actually had stitched the sides inside, you could have put in a little piece of elastic or a piece of ribbon and then put a button here and when you came down you could seal it. Um, I have my clips that match, again my little press studs that match this here.